John. John Michaud with The Athletic. Uh, Jerry, you mentioned about Dak potentially going to the final year of his contract, you being all in on this year, him being all in on this season. Has that allowed you to think how long you guys have worked together, you and Dak, that this could be his last season with the Cowboys? I, I uh, uh, don't think so. Just to be very specific, I do not think that this will be his last year with the Cowboys at all. Uh, the the uh, is there? Am I being psychotic relative to my mirror? No, no. Uh, it's pretty clear, I think. I want to say it if it hadn't been clear of how much we appreciate what Dak Prescott has meant to this team in a positive way. And the players do play better when he's out there. He does make his teammates play at a higher level. There's no question about it. So I'm right there in line with his best with his best fan. But believe it or not, in my life, I've had a lot of things I wanted that I couldn't get because I couldn't afford it. Now, have I learned to live with that in 80-something years? You bet I have, and life does go on. And sometimes when you get a bump like that, you turn around and do better than you would have had you got what you wanted. You'd have never known it had you not had to go get there. There's been some of my life with the Dallas Cowboys that that's reflected. That had I gotten what I was sick about and ready to jump that I didn't get, had I gotten it, it wouldn't have turned out as positive as it's turned out. So much of this thing we do specifically with putting rosters together, when you're dealing with availability, injury, when you're dealing with t- talent fluctuations, when you're dealing with the, the uh, 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 competitiveness. So much of it creates a level where you've just got to go and see what happens. Now, that's not unique. Uh, millions of your readers and your fans that you communicate with, millions of them live that every day. There's nothing new about a human being having to live with ambiguity. Nothing new about that. We all do it. Well, it's alive and well in what we deal with and what I'm dealing with every day. Again, it's a privilege to be here dealing with it now. This isn't the smallest violin. But what the point I'm trying to make is there is nothing new about not having these questions answered that you reflect and we've reflected in this off season. And yes, I've gone in with not uh, my wish list fully uh, completed, and I've been a part with the Cowboys and been a part of it in the other parts of my life, ended up being the best I ever did. Nick. Nick Harris, DallasCowboys.com. Uh, you mentioned there's